Bravo! I can't have you all believe that marriage is exactly the same as domestic partnerships. If that was true, why isn't it just called marriage? This is the route my opposition has taken to pull blinders over your eyes and keep you from the truth. After careful research, I have determined that domestic partnerships, although similar, do not offer the same incentives unique to marriages. Denying lesbians and gay men the right to marry denies them simple, basic dignity and has serious practical consequences as well. Among the practical benefits unique to marriage are the rights to, as followed, one, visit a partner or a partner's child in a hospital, two, inherit from your partner if she or he doesn't have a valid will, three, obtain joint health, home, and auto insurance policies, four, enter joint rental agreements, five, make medical decisions on a partner's behalf in the event of an illness, and uh, six, take bereavement or sick leave to care for a partner or a partner's child. Seven, choose a final resting place for a deceased partner. Um, eight, obtain wrongful death benefits for a surviving partner or a partner's child. Uh, nine, get an equitable division of property in a divorce. Ten, have joint child custody, visitation, adoption, and foster care. Eleven, file joint tax returns. 12. Obtain veterans discounts on medical care, education, and home loans. 13. Apply for immigration and residency for partners from other countries. And last but not least, obtain domestic violence protective orders if that was ever necessary. As you can clearly see, there are significant differences between legal agreements my opponent supposedly claims are equal. My opponent continues her assault on same-sex marriage by implying that both male and female role models are required in order for a child to properly go, grow and develop. According to divorcerate.org, the, Ameri uh, the Americans for Divorce Reform estimates that probably 40 or possibly even 50% of marriages will end in divorce if current trends continue. How can you say that a child will not prosper when about half of which will grow up without a mother or father anyways? The assumption that same-sex marriages will not provide children uh, with proper role models is absolutely ludicrous. If these people are happily in love, don't you think they would be better parents than straight couples who are not? We no longer live in a time when plausible deniability was all that was required to suppress minority rights. To the disbelief of some, in March of 2006, UCLA law professor Gary J. Gates published findings found in the American Community Survey, which is an extension of the U.S. Census, and concluded that, based on our findings, we estimate that there are approximately 8.8 .8 million gay, lesbian, and bisexual persons in the United States. To put, that another, to put that in another way, that is one in every 10 individuals that is either lesbian, gay, or bisexual. That is why I would like to reiterate the point Brian briefly mentioned, that homosexuality is an accepted lifestyle nowadays with most evidence providing uh, biological causations. I don't think 8.8 .8 million Americans would all fake being homosexual just to rebel against society. These people are subjected to verbal, physical abuse, not given equal rights, and are victims of prejudice. No one in their right mind would say, sign me up, knowing these consequences. So what's the reason? According to UCSB professor Dr. Rice, and he says, we know that homosexuality, gay or lesbian, can be caused by simple genetic changes in fruit flies. And since so many reproductive and neurological genes are shared by flies and humans, it seems highly unlikely that there are major genes influencing homosexuality uh, in humans. While these results are far from conclusive, it indicates a growing trend amongst researchers that homosexuality, uh, um, sorry, that homosexuality can be contributed to genetics. How can we deny individuals the right to marry when they are simply born naturally gay or lesbian? How does same-sex marriage affect anyone besides the two people getting married? This is, this is a personal affair that should be left to the privacy of the couple. What rights as a society do we have that allows us to prevent two people, gay or lesbian, from loving each other in the most sacred way? Most of the accusations my opponents make are that same-sex marriage will somehow cause civilization to break down and disband if same-sex marriages are legalized. The reality is that gay marriage doesn't hurt society or anyone in particular. If you live in a house with straight neighbors on one side of the fence and gay ones on the other, how is that really going to affect your day-to-day -day life? If that's how people want to live their life, it should be their own business, and we should not intrude and prevent them from living the way they want to. 
According to U.S. Representative, um, U.S. Representative John Lewis of Georgia, in response to the Defense of Marriage Act, and I quote, marriage is a basic human right. You cannot tell people they cannot fall in love. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used to say, when people talked about interracial marriage, uh, races do not fall in love to get married, individuals fall in love to get married. The final point I would like to make is that there is, has been some talk that civil unions are just as good as gay marriage, or just as good as marriage, I'm sorry. Quite the contrary, while similar to both marriage, uh, while similar to both marriages and domestic partnerships, you have to read between the lines. Currently, there are 11 U.S. states that recognize civil unions between same-sex couples, uh, the loophole being that the other 39 states do not recognize these unions, and therefore crossing state lines can dissolve whatever benefits were once received. Additionally, these so-called equal civil unions offer only state protection. What that means is that on a federal level, there is no definition or meaning. If same-sex couples are forced to relocate, whether it's due to economical, disaster, or whatever means, and they move to a state that does not recognize these civil unions, then what? <clears throat> Can you imagine driving to Las Vegas for the weekend with your wife or husband, and as soon as you cross Nevada state lines, your marriage was no longer legal? Well, some people might like that, but the reality is that same-sex couples with civil unions must, this is the reality that same-sex couples with civil unions must deal with. It is time we rid our society of these ridiculous loopholes and grant all homosexuals the right to marry one another.